Welcome to another mega live video. Uh, this video is going to be a little different than my previous ones. Today we're going to take a look at a structure that has both fish and bait fish around it. We're not only going to look at mega live, but we're also going to look at mega 360 and how these compare. Before we jump into the sonar recordings, let's talk a little bit about the structure itself. Basically, it's a water intake tower for a generator at the dam at the, my local lake. It goes from the surface, uh, actually above the surface, all the way down to 150 feet. The bottom third of the tower is actually the water intake grate itself and above the water is an access building that uh, gets, gives access to the generator intake. I'm going to take a look at four different sonar recordings. One of Mega Live in landscape mode, Mega Live in forward mode, Mega 360 in 455 kilohertz frequency, and Mega 360 in mega frequency. This is a still of the Mega Live landscape mode, and you'll see how close it compares to the down image um, that I've been using. The, there's a bait ball at the right, and there's fish out in front of it. This is a still of the forward mode, and I had the range set to 110 foot forward and 110 foot down. And amazingly, you can see all the way down to the 110 foot and the start of the grate, as you can see from the overlay of the down. And finally, this is a still from the Mega 360 image uh, that I took. And you can see again from the down image overlay how well that represents what the down image uh, shows. And again, this has a school of bait above it and some fish. Okay, let's get into the sonar recordings. First, we're going to do Mega Live in landscape mode. In this and all the sonar recordings, you'll see a lot of fish. You'll see bait as well as the structure itself. Let's talk about the settings I've got. Uh, the dynamic contrast I'm using for this is a 1. And I'm using a color palette of uh, 11. The um, sensitivity is six, contrast is five, and I've got the range set to 60 feet, although I changed it to, I recorded it at a 110. You'll see as I'm uh, lowering and raising the, the sensitivity, what impact that has on the structure as well as the fish. For me, the six and the five was optimal for this one. Uh, now I'm moving the landscape range out to the 110 that I recorded this at because I'm going to start moving away from the structure to see what happens to the fish, how far out I can pick it up, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm bumping up the sensitivity as I get further and further away in order to maintain the images of the fish. So you can't really just set it and leave it on Mega Live at all, ever. Get over it, you got to make changes. So right now I'm at 18 sensitivity. The fish are starting to flicker. You know, we're out about 80 to 90 feet. Uh, still seeing a few fish, but you won't pick up fish as far out in landscape mode as you will in forward and in down mode. Just not going to happen. You'll see other fish, you know, coming into play in closer range as the structure. You see the structure all the way out to the 110 foot border. Next, we're going to look at Mega Live in forward mode. In the forward mode recording, you can see the fish very well swimming out in front of the structure. You can also see the, the grate down at the 110 foot level. In terms of the color, I'm using again the, the palette 11. Uh, the dynamic contrast, I felt for this, off was best. Uh, one is a little too, too powerful, two wasn't quite enough. So I settled on off, but uh, um, again, it's a personal preference thing. I have my sensitivity at 10, contrast at 5, um, but you can see what happens as I change the sensitivity in terms of the fish and the structure. Um, I had the, I recorded this at 110 down and 110 out. So now I'm going to expand the out, out to the full 110 that I made the sonar recording at. As I'm moving away from the structure, you can see, you know, what happens to the fish. And again, I'm rotating the transducer slightly to make sure I keep the fish sort of in the center of the cone. So you'll see the, the structure change a little bit. That was a passing bass boat that I got a little interference from his, his transducer. Uh, but you'll see the fish um, 
change a little bit. So I'm going to bump up the sensitivity as it goes out to the 110 foot mark to maintain the fish. And you can see in this, I don't know how much further out I could have carried it, but the fish stay pretty strong all the way out to the 110 foot sonar recording border. Uh, so you could definitely see them all the way out to the edge. Next, we're going to look at Mega 360 in 455 kilohertz range. Next is the Mega 360, and I'm going to start with the 455 kilohertz frequency. That's actually my preferred frequency for uh, using Mega 360 because it does a much better job of picking up fish in the water column. You'll see all the fish around this thing. I'm using a sensitivity of 10 and a contrast of 7. The main thing I like about uh, the Mega 360 is using the water column sensitivity. I keep it on 3, which highlights the, the fish. I'm going to change it to zero and you'll see what happens here. So about halfway or three quarters of the way by, you'll see the fish are just disappearing without the water column sensitivity. So if you're interested in picking up fish, the best way to do that is to set your water column sensitivity to two, one, two, or three. I like three personally. Um, so now we're making another sweep. I also have my sweep uh, at set at uh, a sweep speed of six, which is the fastest speed which cuts down on uh, quality, image quality, but I prefer the refresh rate and the faster rate using the six. So now I'm gonna start moving away from the structure and you'll see with each sweep, it's gonna get further and further away. Uh, still in the 455 frequency, I'm still seeing a lot of the fish, even you know 60 feet out. Um, and I've got my range set on 120 on this. So I'm getting the, the tower all the way out to the 120 foot mark here. Um, again, I'm continuing to move away, but you have to wait for that sweep to come across on Mega 360 to get the, uh, to get the image. Still seeing there's a bait school moving in on the right there. Uh, still seeing fish around the tower. Still seeing the tower all the way out to the edge, to the 80, uh, 120 foot edge. And again, I'm going to make one more sweep here. And uh, when this sweep comes by, uh, it'll be all the way out to pretty much out to the edge. But uh, you'll still see fish around the tower, uh, which is pretty amazing out that far out between 90 and 120 feet. Next, we're going to cover the Mega 360, but using the Mega frequency to see how that differs from the 455 in a situation like this. So in this sonar recording, you'll see already that it's, it's a lot weaker down toward the, the periphery, down toward the 120 foot. And I've got the sensitivity all the way up to 17 at this point and the contrast at 5. And you'll also see that I'm getting some clutter or some um, returns on the periphery, uh, some cloudiness because I've got it turned up so high. You'll also see that you're not seeing quite as many fish. There is a bait ball there. Uh, that didn't exist on the last recording. Obviously, I did these, uh, you know, separately. So now I'm going to move out away from the building. And again, you're just not seeing the depth here that you see on 455, nor the quantity of the fish. Even though I still got my water column sensitivity up to three, uh, Mega just doesn't pick up fish in the water column. Now I've got sensitivity all the way up to 20. You see a lot of artifacts around um, and, and again, this is the main reason I like 455 kilohertz for the kind of fishing that I do, uh, which um, uh, I'm not as interested in the overall quality as I am finding the fish. So now we'll see all the way out. It disappears off to the edge. So that brings us to a close. I want to thank you for uh, watching the video. And as always, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please uh, leave those below and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks.